Okay. This is a live power hour. I would say if you want your team to succeed, tag them and say, get on with me. Um, all right, so we are gonna do these on Monday and on Mondays, and then the purpose of the power hours are to invite to the event coming up on Wednesday. So this is actually forcing you to take action and actually build your business, okay? So this Wednesday, we're doing a sneak peek into coaching. Um, I'm doing it as a group. I am, I have, what I wanna say about that is I do not have exact system in place on whether I wanna continue with events or groups, but I'm testing the waters with what works right now. So my game plan is to do one hour on Wednesday, uh, night and to feature a success story, which I probably should figure that that out pretty quick. Um, and I have a little template that I'm going to follow. And my goal is to inspire the people you invite to join our team. So what we're going to do is we're going to invite people for the next hour to join the team. Um, I'm, I'm on the right time, right? Okay, me and, me and errors on my time. All right, so everyone here should have an invite script, yes? <coughs> I have a really bad cough. Okay. So during a power hour, what you wanna do, I mean, this is your time to literally focus completely on your business. This is your time to take an invite, go to people that you would love to have on your dream team and tell them, hey, I think you would be amazing at this. I don't know if you know exactly what it is that I do, but we have a sneak peek and informational meeting on Wednesday night that I would love for you to be a part of. And um, I should do giveaways. Just make a note to myself about that. Um, I'll do giveaways for people who are on live. Prizes. I'm going to make a post right now before I forget what you guys are. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about numbers for a minute. If you want to build your business large, you need to hit high numbers. Uh, and the funny thing is, the higher the number you hit you actually get more comfortable with the inviting process. Like the whole scariness of it all is like, you know what, this isn't that bad. I think I can do this. Um, so what I'm trying to do right now is double my number. So I usually invite 10 people a day and I'm trying to get to 20 a day. Um, and you can do that too because social media has all the people. So that is so if you're doing two invites a day, I encourage you to step it up to five. If you're doing five, I encourage you to step it up just, just simply. You don't have to double it, but like think, okay, I've been doing five a day. I'm going to do seven. And then I'm going to do six days a week of seven invites. And it's a simple invite, right? It's like boom, 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 boom. You'd be shocked at how fast you can get those out. Um, you know, like once you've crafted that invite, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. All right, so let's play a game. Let's play, what should we do? Whoever sends the first 10 invites out to the coaching sneak peek, I'm gonna send you a personal development book. Uh, I, I will do that right now. So, ready, set, go. I'm going to do it too. I'm going to invite. I'm with you guys. I'm right here with you guys. <clears throat> okay. 
you guys have questions, just unmute yourself because I'm staring at my inbox, so I'm not watching the Zoom. For those of you who are on or like what's going on and you didn't hear, we are sending 10 invites and the first person to send them is getting a personal development book. To a sneak peek on Wednesday. Okay, back to my invites. really cool if I could see how to add these guys as friends. So one thing is social media always changes every all the time. Like I can't figure out 
how to add friends when I'm using the like page messenger. It's so weird. I just don't get it. How you guys doing as I choke over here? Oh, Ashley, boom, done. Way to go. <clears throat> Darn it. <laughs> Love it. That's so cool. Do you see how fast that was done? In 15 minutes, she shot out 10 invites, just like that. Hey Ashley, you wanna can you write can you write what you invited, like what your invite was? Because everybody knows what I say. <clears throat> or if you if you if you want to share it. Um I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, and let me just add, <clears throat> I've talked to, I don't even know how many people today, you guys, and they all have said no. So, just so you know, that's how my May 1st has gone. Everyone has said no today. <coughs> this cough is out of control. Where's Ashley at? What was your invite, Ashley? Turner, there's two Ashleys on here. Are you hiding back there? She's hiding. All right, while we're waiting, you all keep giving invites. I'm doing the same thing as I choke over here. <clears throat> Does anyone have any questions for me?
Sorry, I was inviting. Holy moly. Well, we're gonna do this every Monday, guys. So, Jennifer, we're doing it every Monday. Okay, so Jessica wants to know how she can invite more people. So let me show you a little strategy. I'm gonna screen share, so give me a second here. <clears throat> okay, can you guys see my screen? Yay, nay. Someone tell me yes or no. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here's what you can do. This is how I built from a long time ago. All right, so you think about, are you a dog mom? Are you, what kind of mom are you? I said dog mom first. <laughs> okay, um, if there's like, for example, Wherever you live, I've got Arizona mom, Arizona mommies, Arizona mommies group, um, moms of Arizona get fit. Like, <clears throat> here's like, I know I'm in, I can tell you I've had coaches that I've met from the fabulous West Valley moms. Like, I'm friends with all these girls, okay? So you go into these groups, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like choking, coughing over here, right? And look, they even give you this offer to do Marketing Monday. So I could do um, my, I could, I never do these, but since I'm showing you guys, there's my page, throwing it down. They can follow my page if they want. But what you can do is go to members, and then you can look at who are members. These are all my friends. This is Melissa, she's on our team. This is where I met her, I met her in this group. I got in this group and I got super active because I moved to um, Arizona and I was <clears throat> looking for local friends. So what you do is you kind of like look and you're like, okay, this girl stands out to me right away. I'm like, hmm, she looks fun. She's a stay-at-home mom. She's got kids. She looks like she'd post some rocking social media photos. Right, right? So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I would hang out with her. She looks like fun. So I send her a friend request, done. Super simple. Now, <clears throat> There is also, if I love, which I do, uh, hiking, Arizona hiking. This is one of the coolest groups, you guys, because, like, oh, my God. The, like, the coolest thing about this group, look at there's a rattlesnake. Doesn't that make you happy? Uh, but the coolest thing about this group is, like, they show you really cool places they hike, and I'll take notes, and, like, like this guy found this near Fossil Creek. This is one of our many critters of Arizona. But... I can look up Fossil Creek. So it's really best trails for toddlers who insist on hiking themselves. Perfect conversation for me to be a part of because I have toddlers. So I can make friends 
with people that are in Arizona that are <clears throat> into hiking, hiking adventures with the littles on Facebook. All right, so hiking and adventures with the littles on Facebook. Oh, not on Facebook. I'm just going to go here and see what I get. Boom, a new group. Now you see we've got, I'm going to join the group. So I've got a new group. Um, <clears throat> how many children do you have? I have twins, four years old, not regularly. They are they just turned four. How did you hear me this? In the Arizona hiking group, and I'm just looking for places to hike with my boys. What part of the valley do you live in? I'm in the north. Okay, so I'll get accepted into this group later, uh, but you get the idea. So here's another <laughs> group example, natural uh, Arizona mamas. These, these are some coaches. There's Emma, there's Melissa. Um, but you get the idea of, of what is it you're interested in. So I have a puggle. He's a dog. My mom's, my mom's even in this group. I see my mom. I'm like, she doesn't have a puggle. Anyways, you get the point. If you have a dog that you truly love and you want to post about your dog, freaking get in the dog groups and like start getting in there and liking posts and communicating with these people. And you can find, I mean, 12,000 people, you guys. Now, I'm going to go in here and I could say, um, like Lewis. No, I don't need to be a friend with Lewis because he's not my tribe. Kathy, don't look like she's my tribe either. So you can be picky about who you want to add. This girl's smiling. Um, maybe her. Um, but like so far I'm like, eh. You're looking for people that are smiling, that are happy, that are, um, you don't want to deal with people that, here we go, Danielle Rodriguez, perfect, perfect, perfect. So she's super smiley, but when I look at her Facebook page, there's not anything going on. So that tells me she may or may not post on Facebook. So I'm gonna bounce from this group because I'm not really, I'm um, not really seeing much going on in there right now. So I'm a twin mom, and this is where lots of my coaches have come from. So when the boys were born, and still to this day, I can ask questions, I would, I would post in these groups. Here's a girl, she's talking about having anxiety, the twins are starting school, so I could come on here and say, if you guys don't know, I have a mom anxiety, like hardcore. I'm doing much better now, but ever since they were born, I just, like, I wouldn't leave the house, like, it was... And it was mom anxiety. It was that I wanted to keep a bubble around them. And um, she wants encouragement, right? So I can click a love button on there and I can be like, I totally get it. I was there. Um, anxiety over my twins beginning school. We registered on Friday and they begin in August. I really see some encouragement. Our twins, we decided to separate them during. I was there and so nervous, but my boys love it. Hang in there. Now, I have a feeling this might be like a kindergarten start, but that's okay. I can still comment. Right? And then I could go click on her page and be like, hmm, is this somebody that I want to be friends with? Because we have something in common. Twins. Okay? It looks like she doesn't really post. So, eh. you know what I mean? Like now you can get picky. I could go to the members, 5,000 members. This is why Natalie Gleaves and myself, like this is why we can share these groups because there's just so many people. Always looking for a person like this girl. Oh my gosh, she looks so much fun. But she doesn't post, so no. 
Anyways, you get the idea. Like you're looking for people that are your tribe. It's super simple. And it's free. And yeah, not everyone no, oh, this one looks fun. My friends look good. She looks awesome. She's posting. She's sharing a lot, which you don't want to do, but that's just because she doesn't know social media yet. Like these motivational posts tells me she's got she's got some confidence, good confidence. So we're gonna send her a request. Okay. Sorry, I'm reading your chat now. Okay, so I yes. There's a video in the Power Hour event page that you should watch that says um, the top five things to do. And it's like 10 minutes of going through a group and like add, add, add. And then it's, um, and be, be, be picky, you guys. Like don't feel like you have to just add any one person. Like really think about what the person's doing on social media. If they're being super negative, if they're like, you're like, I'm not filling this person at all. Don't add them. Just add somebody else. You can see these groups have thousands of people and just think what you like to do. Do you like to garden? There's gardening groups. Um, there's the hiking groups. There's dog groups. There's twin groups. There's mom of, probably mom of boys, mom of multiples, which I already talked about. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit. There's groups about cars. So if you're like a Jeep fan or if you're obsessed with a TV show, I imagine, I know, I'm in a, okay, so if you don't know me, now you do. I love Prison Break, like, okay. So there is a group called Wentworth Miller. Oh yeah, so you can go in there and make friends. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, or you can go in the groups and sometimes they're not like the greatest groups. You'd be like, okay, this isn't working, but, that's the cool thing. And then you can also create a group. So yes, that's part of power hour. I would say that took me what, like five, 10 minutes to show you guys. I added two friends that way. Um, or I sent two friend requests. I could have done more, but I was kind of walking you through it, but easily, easily you could send five friend requests like that. Right. And then you can, you know, if you want send them a message, Hey, thanks for the ad. I'm looking to connect with more moms. I'm a newer mom or Whatever you want to say around it, I'm I'm here local. I hike in Arizona, looking for more hiking buddies. You know what I mean? Like I'm in a here. Um, I already close out, but I'm in like a a group of literally like I could walk to the homes, and we're all in a group. And it's sad, but that's how I'm making that's how I'm making friends with the neighbors is like through these groups. And I'm like, oh, you live like right behind me, so I'm sending friend requests to make friends with them because. I can be like local friends with them and I can inspire them uh, to possibly, you know, join the team or start a group or whatever. Cause I can tell you right now, I have a neighbor like right up the street who just likes all my stuff, all my stuff. So I can totally um, do that. Okay. So I'm squirreling on you. Sorry. So yes, I would add a certain amount of friends per day. You could do two. It doesn't have to be a crazy number. Um, if you want to grow fast, do more, uh, do a higher number and then send messages out. Now, some of these guys won't accept your friend request right away. So you don't have to, I'm going to screen share again because I got to show you guys something. <coughs> okay. So when you add them, you go to your main page, go to friends. Click on recently added, and now I can go to, um, see, I just, I just kind of highlighted over this, and then I go add to another list, and then I have all these lists, and I could call this new list May 2017 friends, or I could do 
prospect customer, which is actually who she belongs to because she's got an invite out right now. Um, this looks like she does a business. I don't know how. Oh, she's a coach. That's why she added me. Okay, got it. This is a person that I think I added myself. So she would go. She would go on the um, prospect customer list. So now I can go back to the list and I can, or um, yeah, I can go back to the list and then I can send, like I can build affinity, all right? So like, I can like her stuff, right? I can go down and like her stuff or I could comment. Every time I boil eggs for Easter, cookie members, they turn out completely jacked up, but it was half the chicken. So I wanted to boil some eggs, they turn out perfect. Shell little. So like, I could totally relate to this post because that's my life. So I can make a comment here about, I totally get it. Um, but do you guys see like the point and the idea of like how simple this is? Um, and then the people that <coughs> you've already been talking to, you'd be like, hey, this is so random. And you, it's totally cool if you want to say no, but I was thinking of you. I'm starting this new group or my team is hosting this incredible post trip sneak peek into what exactly it is we do. They just got back from uh, the Dominican Republic on this trip and like, it's super cool. And I wanted, I really think you would be um, praise them. I really think you'd be amazing at this. You guys, have to feel incredible saying that kind of a thing to people like that's how I built my business from day one I added everybody to a free group and I would look for the people that were like truly posting and sharing and I was like dude you would be an incredible coach you're doing what I do you're just not getting paid for it and I think you would rock at it and I think you should do it and I would say nine times out of ten they signed up because I poured into them and I would be like, you're, you're just so awesome. So, um, that's a fun invite. Like there's nothing to be afraid of to be like, I'm going to pour belief into this person. Um, and that's like why I think I'm like, so Chris Downing hooked right now. Cause like, that's what he does. Like, he, ah. okay. Before I go getting squirrely and distracted. So we're only at six 30. How many invites have you guys put out? I put out two and I sent two friend requests and I need to go back and see. I think I have two more to put out, but I put out 10 earlier today. So it's going to be 14 and I'm aiming for 20. So I'm getting there. Just going out of my message box. I love it. Woohoo! Okay, so I just had a girl. I sent her a video. She said she loves it. So let's see what happens. Oh. Sorry, I got distracted by a potential. Okay, I just sent another friend request. Oh, is this a fake? Be careful of fake profiles. I don't think this is fake. Let's see. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Where, where is the Zoom? Where is the Zoom go? Look at you go, Ashley. Can you share a good script again? I'm going to cold invite this trainer chick that's been following me for a while. Hey, trainer chick. I know how much you're into health and fitness. And I think you would do, I think you would absolutely love this business opportunity. Um, what else would I say? Well, hold on, let me, let me think about this. Like, 
this is super random, but I know how much you love helping other people. And I found a business that I can impact. You can impact thousands of lives. Um, maybe from home or online, or you can work from anywhere, I think I would say. And then I would say, um, would you be interested in more information? No big deal either way. And don't be emotionally attached. It's like, you're on my dream team. I think you'd be amazing. Say that. If you feel that way, say that. Like, you, Gron, like, I think you would just crush this business. I think you'd be amazing at this business. Tell them that. They need to know. They need you to pour that belief into them. This is so fun. Okay. How is everyone else doing? Y'all are so quiet. Keep inviting them. Twelve sneak peeks, three hey girls, two new friend requests, one person interested in just this evening. I'm inviting peeps that love my posts. Oh, yeah. Okay, there. Ashley gave you the love. The love invite. You guys, uh, if you guys are watching the chat feature, Ashley is giving a bunch of scripts. Can you see it? If not, I'll post it on. I just got three invites out. I feel like I should be in more. Three plus 10 is 13 though. It's progress. All right, I'll just get back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna post her invites on the event. There's one. So how many invites have you guys, did I already ask this question? How many invites have you guys gotten out? But here's the thing. It's literally 40 after, right? We got a lot done. See how fast you can move in this business? Like, as long as you got people to invite, you're good to go. Um, you know what I mean? Like, you just need the people to invite. That's like the biggest challenge that everybody faces. They need the people to invite. And I just showed you how to find people. And that doesn't mean you add them and be like, hey, you want to join my group? No, no, no. You just add them and like, thanks for the ad. I'm looking for new friends to do whatever, hiking or gardening. I want to talk to you about gardening or I want to talk to you about like, what is it that you naturally love to talk about? Is it um, pregnancy stuff? Is it um, growing kids? Like for me with the twins, it's easy to have conversations because I'm like, okay, do I split them up in school? Do I keep them in the same class? What do I do with one biting the other one? Like when I was going through phases, it's easy for me when we were potty training. I was like, okay, what's the best way to potty train twins? 
Um, like there's just so many things to give me the ability to add new people. Now, of course you can run Facebook ads, but that's when you're ready for money to be spent and it ain't cheap. I'm telling you now work with what's free, work through your warm market. Feel free to ask people for referrals. Do you know anybody who would love to work on their health and fitness goals? Um, I used to say, do you know anyone who would love to lose some weight? Uh, maybe a jean size or two and gain extra energy and feel better. Do you know of anyone? And usually they're like, well, what about me? And it was that simple. And, and then the coaching was, um, I also, I told you the coaching was a lot of people from my free group. So it's easy to tell people like, Hey, I have a free group. Feel free to join it. Make sure they're not a coach or they're not already working with a coach. Right. And like, say, once they're in the group, like, dude, you're amazing. I think you should be a coach. It's simple, simple invite. It's literally what built my business. Like I recruited like a beast every week. I was recruiting new people because of that group. And then I like, I don't know, got distracted and I had to revive it this year. So I've been rebuilding it and it's just a free challenge group or free fitness group or whatever. So simple. Like, and I add value in there. Like, Hey, here's a healthy recipe. Here's a great article. Here's like the new videos where they do the healthy, like foods. You can share them in your group and be like, dude, check this out. This is like so good. Like the fajita chicken or whatever those, you know, tasty videos, like the healthy ones and people are like, love this. People make those recipes. We didn't have those back in the day. Um, I mean, it's simple. You can go live and you can share how you meal prep. You can share how with a busy life, how you work out around the kids. Simple. Okay. 22 invites. Nice work. Three invites. Nice. Three invites, two follow-ups. You guys are killing it. Do you like this power hour thing? I, I've asked the leaders to run these every Monday. So next week is Jessica Eklund and Jessica Callard are going to do it. Yeah. So we're going to do this every Monday and then we're going to have sneak peeks on Wednesdays to just stay consistent. Cause you, you just never know. It's a test I'm running for the month of May. We'll see what happens. Um, cause it's hard to always be here every single night and run it by myself. But if you guys ever want to step up and run one of these on Monday night, let me know and we'll get you scheduled in. I'm glad you guys all love this. Am I still recording? Okay, good. So I'm like, I feel like we've just crushed this thing, you guys. Yay! Ashley, I'll put you down. I'm going to make a note. Make a note before I forget. Okay, cool. Yay! Thank you. That's awesome. That'd be so getting far. Jennifer, okay, who, which Gen Jennifer is on with us? I can't see you. I have no idea which Jennifer is on with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see your face. I'm like, is that Pasek? Who is that over there? Nice invite job. That's awesome. So anyone have any questions for me? I mean, you guys are doing it. Like, this is it. This is, this is it. This is what I do every day. And you can see how quick you can do it with you when you're not like emotionally attached and you're like, whatever. Like I've invited 13, 14, 13 people today. And like two people are like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. The rest are like, and that's normal. That's, that's about right. That's why you want to invite more because most of them are going to be like, nah. but if you become friends with them, they'll see your posts and be like, okay, okay. They'll see your results. And they'll be like, okay, you're, this is why I'm like super excited that Hal's in the uh, shift shop test group. That's, we're going to have results to share for as we get ready for the launch. And I get to do it too. So I'll have results too. Oh, 
Okay. I have like a million Instagram messages I have to go through to you guys. Like if you guys get on Instagram, that's free as well. And Instagram, you just get on and you search hashtags of, of things you love. Again, so like if I were to go to Nordstrom on Insta, hey, y'all pull out your phones. Who has Instagram? Pull out your phones. Let's do this since we've got time. I, I don't know how to like show you guys on this. So you're just gonna have to work with me here. Okay. So go to the search and look up something you love. So I'm looking up Nordstrom because I like to shop there. Because my goal, well, I like Nordstrom Rack more than anything. But the purpose of why I'm doing that is because the people who are following the page, they like to shop there too. So I'm going to click. So I don't know if you can see this. This is Nordstrom Rack. See, there's 681,000 followers. So literally, I am going to click on this number. And now it's going to bring up all these people that are following Nordstrom Rack. Okay? So I'm going to look again for faces that are smiling, that look like my kind of girls, like totally would travel and totally my jam. All right, so here's a girl. She's smiling, I think her name's Becca, and she's got a verse, which is cool. So I'm gonna click the follow button. So I requested to follow her now, and then I can make a note that I requested to follow, it looks like BK Chapman, and then I can start to like her stuff, comment on her stuff, and then I can also send her a direct message. So there's three dots up here in the, in the uh, right corner, and I can do send message. I'm gonna show you. See how oh, it says send message? So I can click on send message and I can be like, hey, I love your page. I love following you. Uh, I found you on the Nordstrom Rack page or whatever, and just become friends with her. And again, she'll follow. She may or may not follow me. That's the biggest thing that people face this business is some people are going to freaking say no. Some people are going to block you. Some people are going to yell at you. Some people are going to be like, you suck, go away, because they think you're just out to get them. And you just have to get over it because that's like a really small percentage. But it happens, and don't let it even, like, just whatever. Not their problem. You have a mission, you have a purpose, and there are people who will say yes to you. It's literally a matter of like just finding them. So let's say you like um, some kind of fashion boutique or maybe you like um, paleo eating. So you could look up on Instagram paleo and there's this thing called the paleo cupboard. So I can go follow, look at who's following, or not only that, but you can click on the actual photos on Instagram, and you can click on who liked the post as well, and you get more people to follow. Oh yeah. I'm like, I like Instagram, I always forget to get on it. But I have like a ton of messages in my inbox because what you do as you start to post on Instagram is you just say like, um, hey, thanks for liking my post. Thanks for following my journey. Are you working on some health and fitness goals too? And you have a conversation. If you guys want, go follow me on Instagram, uh, Lindsay Weiss, and see how I do my Instagram. I'm very... Uh, clean. I'm, Instagram's like a magazine, so I'm very clean and crisp with my pictures. Um, I have some video where I'm working out. I have a lot of white quote photos. Um, does that make sense? I call them white quote photos. I look them up on Google. Um, like one says, stop fighting for yourself. Stop fighting yourself and start fighting for yourself. And then a lot of it is me sharing my journey. 
And then in there, I mix in, hey, if you want to join my next accountability group, shoot me a DM or comment below. Um, go follow me. You can see how I do it. And then I use apps like uh, PickTapGo. Um, what's the other app? Layout. Layout's the one where you can do your side by side. And let me tell you one more tip. If you use Instagram, so here's my page, right? If you take one scroll and you don't see a before and after of yourself, you need to do a new before and after. That's how much you need, and, and that is a note to myself because I'm scrolled twice and my last before and after is way down here. Nobody's gonna look at that. Nobody's gonna go be like, let me just, no, they're gonna look at like the first, they're gonna take one scroll and they're not gonna see my before and after of my story. This is why your story sharing has to be so consistent. Same thing with Facebook. Not everybody's gonna see your post. Facebook does not put your post to the newsfeed of all your friends. So don't think you're annoying people because you're not. You're really not because they're not seeing it. Like Facebook is super annoying that not everyone will see. If you're not building affinity with people, like liking their stuff, commenting on their stuff, messaging with people, they'll never see your post. They'll just, they'll st the affinity rank will start to go down on your friends list and they won't see your stuff. So if you're like, you keep putting posts out, nobody's seeing anything. Now you know why. You need to also live, Facebook live is a thing to do. Like at, live will get you, the more live you go, the better. And I know some of you are newer and you're like, oh, that's scary. But that is where Snapchat, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, that's where the world's leading to where people can literally watch every moment of your life. And if you're a coach and you share your coach life, they're like, okay, I could do that. I can work out. I could drink a shake. Looks pretty simple, right? <clears throat> I love to share my personal development. I love to like highlight and then share it because again, I like to inspire and look for people. So when I'm looking for coaches, I'm looking for people who are already ready and have a, a have some confidence, if not more, and are ready to take action versus somebody who I have to like work really hard to build that confidence up. I know that sounds rude, but you guys, like that's a really fair thing to want. You don't need to want someone who needs to get over themselves and everyone's got to grow. It's a growth journey. That's why personal development's there. It's to help you get mentally excited. Being an entrepreneur is a challenge as it is. And when you bring on somebody who can't even make a post, like you're gonna be like, cool, I'm glad you're gonna, you're not gonna do anything with this business. <laughs> like, that's awesome, I'm glad I signed you up because you're not gonna do anything. You know what I mean? Instagram, they post, that's all they do is make posts. They're already doing some of our job. They're just not getting paid. So there's the beauty of Instagram. Like it's very magazine, like your photos have to be on point. They have to be clear, they have to be crisp, they have to be like magazine photos. That's what people want to see on there. So get it, get these apps. This is why I like iPhone, no offense to the Android people, but iPhone does all this stuff, especially this 7 Plus. It's the most clearest camera I've ever seen. And um, you can use different apps to filter your photo because sometimes you gotta filter your photo. <laughs> and make your photo bright, the lighting, like these are these are like a little, a lot to think about for some of the new guys, but if you do wanna rock Instagram, go look at my page and look at how crisp and clear my photos are. Minus the one with me and Hal working out, cause it's like, when we're, the one we're working out, the way our, our room positions right now, the light shines at and it's just really bad. Um, so I didn't know that when we set up the room where we work out and it just, it doesn't look so great. Um, but when I work out outside, it looks amazing. Um, like you can see where me and Andrea are working out. The lighting's amazing. Um, where we take our sweaty selfie. Um, the, again, the lighting looks amazing because we stood with the lighting in front of us. <laughs> That's why I have a Lumi. See, I've got a light in front of my phone. So then when I take a photo, it shines my face out. And then I have a light in the back. <laughs> Fun things to do. Now see this photo. If you guys see this one where 
I'm, I'm like giving you the peace sign. Look at the lighting on that. That's insane. That's some crazy lighting right there. I use the Snapchat filter, the pretty filter for that. And it got like 300 likes or 275 likes. And a mass load of comments, like a ton of comments. And I'm sharing my story. It all started with a weight loss journey, I lost 70 pounds, 10 jean sizes, yada, 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 Tom Beach body, and then I'm going on vacation. You know what I mean? Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, Instagram is free 99, you guys. It is straight up free, free, free. And you can feel safe over there um, because people are already posting their journeys. You can be like, do you work with a coach? Are you familiar with Beachbody? Or people are posting what their top, what their, their passion is, which could be fashion or food, like, have you ever looked at the Instagram food accounts and you're just, you can get lost in them. You're like, oh my God, these recipes are so amazing. It's a really cool place to go. And plus it's a phone thing. So if you're on the go, you have the app right there. You don't have to feel like you have to sit down to Facebook. Facebook is my jam. That's where I hang out. But some of you guys may find Instagram way more your jam. And the way to grow it is to go follow, like, and comment on people's stuff and just keep doing that. And that's how you do it. That's, that's how you're going to build your rank. That's how you're going to build your affinity on Instagram. You want to get people to comment on your stuff. Um, you go comment on their stuff. And it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. This is <laughs> this is taking time. Um, but that's your thing. That's your thing. Now, Facebook, I showed you how to run the groups. And then ads, when you have money, come back and talk to me about ads. Because you don't need to be running ads until you have money. Because they're, they're not cheap. Well, it can be, but uh, this is much easier to get in these groups. So pick your top things, faith, twin mom, boy mom, hiking, gardening, fashion. I mean, TV shows have groups. So maybe you're obsessed with, I don't know, whatever is on prison break. <laughs> And there's a prison break group and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe he just got out of jail. Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh my God, I can't believe they just shot that person. Whatever. Like whatever you're obsessed with, freaking go make friends with those people. Get in there, communicate with them, add them. So what John Walls does, because he's a guy, he goes to, he's obsessed with Michigan. I think Michigan, I forget which college. It's the blue and yellow college. And like, he'll just post about it constantly and he'll get in the groups and communicate with the people and then he makes friends with them and they have something in common. And when you make your friends, you make sure there are people you actually want to be friends with because you'll, you will find people that you're like, no. And it's okay. You can be very picky because it's not fun to drag a person to build a business. Be like, come on, come on. You know, you want to do it. Come on. It's not fun. It's way more fun to find people who maybe are already into fitness, who want to build a business, who like me, I was already into fitness when I became a coach. All right, seven o'clock. Oh, Ashley's like, I don't have Instagram. Sign up right now. <laughs> Welcome to Instagram. Shalane Johnson has some really cool Instagram tips on YouTube. So if you guys go to YouTube, um, plus if you're a newer coach, feel free to go through Facebook friends right now. You don't feel like you have to jump somewhere else, but you can start Instagram and just play with it and be like, do I really love this? Play, playground your social media that you love. Okay. I love Snapchat. I'm going to do everything in my power to get as many Snapchat followers as I possibly can because I love it. And I sell from it because I know how to like, I'm good with the video, like the 10 seconds, <clears throat> as opposed to live on Facebook. I'm okay with that. And, uh, I'm really, I'm actually really bad at Instagram, even though I've done a really good job with it. I'm actually not that great at replying to the messages. Like I forget about it all the time, but some people obsessed with Instagram, like it is their thing. Like people, I know coaches that all their business is 99% Instagram. So it's possible if, Whatever you love, 
Some people absolutely love Facebook. They want to go into the groups. They want to add people from the groups. They want to create groups. They want to add people to groups. I love Facebook and I love Snapchat. Like I, I am on a mission to grow my Snapchat following. And then Instagram is there and I use it and I do get customers from it. Very little though, because I'm still like, I don't know what I'm doing on Instagram. I mean, I do know, but I just need to give it energy, I guess you could say. So wherever you want, whatever you love the most, give the energy there to find the people. Otherwise, you'll be like me, like, oh, I've got an Instagram. I have to get to those messages. There's so many. And um, it's, not, it's a good problem to have, but um, I just, I don't know. That's just me being 100% honest with you. I'd rather Snapchat all day long. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. So tomorrow, Ashton's going to go live and share her recruiting tips. And then Wednesday, we'll do um, sneak peek. So if you want access to the sneak peek, I'll post the link um, in this Power Hour event page. And then I'll put this recording up when it is all loaded. So I need to go eat dinner now. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, holler if you have any questions. All right. Bye, guys.